everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a spring one. So I'm using the mailbox and the little bunny. And I've actually put it in a frame, but you could put it on a card as well. It's, um, it's a really cute project that would be really fun to put on a desk or put in a window and just really fun to give away. So we're going to just need a few stamps, actually just three. So from our foliage set, we're gonna use the vine. And then in Project Series 7, the little bunny. And then in the, um, the flowering mailbox set, we're gonna use the mailbox right here. Okay, so just those three items. So super easy project to do. And uh, we're gonna start out with the bunny. So this is the little bunny, we're gonna stamp him. Oh, also in addition, we're gonna use our Molotow uh, masking fluid. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna stamp the little bunny and we're only gonna use half of him. So right here where the line of the haunches is, we're gonna stop right there. So we're gonna color over here, get his face and his little paws in the front. And we're just gonna ink the front part of him. So let's stamp him right in the middle of our paper. Okay, just like that, perfect. And we're gonna use our positioner now because we wanna make sure we get the mailbox in the right place. So let's just get the positioner, place the little plastic shield in here, and let's ink the mailbox now. And we're gonna use the, uh, the sepia because we're gonna make a uh, kind of an older rustic mailbox. I've normally done these with the blue, the African violet blue and to make it shiny or that antique color by adding sepia to it. But this time let's add some color to the mailbox. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the corner like this, stamp that mailbox in the corner, and now we can position that exactly where we want it. Okay, so one more step, we need to cover this bunny so that we don't stamp over the top of him. So I've made a little mask, so I stamped it on a sticky note, and then I just cut out that little mask. So now we've protected this area. So when we stamp our mailbox over the top, we're not gonna get that line through the bunny. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. We've got him sort of coming out of the mailbox. Put this back. And now I'm gonna ink that mailbox again. And I'm using the sepia. I used the sepia on the bunny as well. So I'm just gonna ink this up again. Using the sepia. And let's just stamp it right in the corner here. Perfect. And now we can remove that mask. And you can see I've kind of lost that line of the mailbox here. And that's okay because we can just take the fine tip now of the sepia pen and just draw this back in. So don't worry if things don't always turn out exactly right. There's usually a way to fix it really easily. And that's the same ink. So we can just ink that up and put that line back in and we're good to go. Okay, so now let's get our brush wet. We're gonna dip our brush in water. And we're gonna start by pulling the color out of the line. So let's start with the little bunny. And we wanna keep the light on top. So we wanna just do this really carefully. Make sure your brush isn't too wet and just gradually start pulling the color out of the lines. Let's keep his little underbelly, let's keep that white. Really, really pinch your brush off and, and pull the color, kind of pull it up. We want the top of the bunny to be the lightest and his face right here where his eye is, we want that to be the lightest area. Never wanna color anything by the eyes and by the face. Never wanna color that in really dark. You sort of lose the life of the character that way and it just kind of dulls, dulls the image. Okay, so we've pulled that color out now. So let's actually add a little more color now. So I'm using the number six. This is the number six brown and I'm just gonna put a little bit of color on my palette. Dip my brush in water, and I'm gonna take a little of this color now and just kind of brush it on. Start out where it would be the darkest, and that would be underneath. Underneath here, where his little chin is. And just gradually bring that color up. Remember the top of the bunny should be the lightest, and in here where his eyes are, his nose is. I'm gonna make that the lightest area. And you can come back in here again until you've got him as dark as you want him to be. Don't cross over these lines where the ears are. Don't cross over that because that will dull the lines and actually it'll, it'll um, make it look flat. 
Okay, so we've got our little bunny done. So let's go ahead and clean our brush off and pull this color out of the lines here on the mailbox. So just kind of drag this color out now. Just kind of follow the lines. Just drag this color out. This is a kind of an old rustic mailbox, so we're gonna have more colors in it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's add some color now to the mailbox. I'm gonna take the number 17, steel blue, and I'm just gonna add a little green to it. This is the this is the olive green, number 15. And I'm just gonna add a little green to it, make it more of a teal color. That's the great thing about a palette is that you can mix the colors that you want and just kind of brush this color on. And it's okay if you don't if you don't mix it all together really smoothly because you're gonna get more color into the mailbox. And I always think that. It's probably like peeling paint and old and rustic and it's going to have a mix of colors. Drag this over. This area of the mailbox, this is going to be the darkest, so we want to kind of keep this darker. And as you come over to the front where, the, where this area is right here, this is the lightest part. So just kind of drag the color over to the left. See the top of the mailbox? Leave that light, that's where the light would be. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's add some color now to the flag. And this is actually number 55 Iris. Really pretty bright, bright purple. So we're gonna take some of this color now and just brush it on to this little flag. Really cute. And let's add some sepia now to the um, to the palette. And we'll just color in this little post. Just like that. And we've got our mailbox about finished. So let's now let's go let's go on with our masking fluid. And so we're gonna put this on, and if you look at the image. I've left all these little white areas and brushed in the pink. So that's how we get those areas to stay white is by using the masking fluid. So we put that on and it covers, keeps um, keeps all the white areas white. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna take our Molotow, we're gonna take our little mask pen, and we're gonna make a bunch of um, dots on here. Kind of like we did the snow. If you've been following me on Watercolor Wednesday, we've done a lot of Christmas projects and a lot of snow. So it's sort of the same concept, only we're doing it with flowers. You can leave them white or you can add color to them. It's just really fun. Just kind of adds another dimension to your, to your art. Let's put a few over here. And you can put as much or as little of this in as you want. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry now and then we're gonna come back. So I'm gonna take a little break and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and ready to move on. And you can see that my masking fluid is dry because it's changed colors. So now we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step. So we're going to take our um, the vine and we're just gonna ink about half of this. We don't need the whole thing. So we're gonna ink about half of it and we're just gonna stamp it over the top of the masking fluid. So just right around here at the base, we're gonna ink it again. Remember you wanna get this in here a bunch of times. So just stamp it over and over again, right over the top of that masking fluid. And we can kind of work our way right around this mailbox. Ink it and stamp it about five or six times. If you can get that many out of it, that's perfect. Just come around here like this. And let's put a little bit out here where the bunny is. And just add a few more in. Just stamp it all around the mailbox. Okay, so let's dip our brush in water now. And we're gonna just start blending the lines. Just soften the lines, take your time. It dries really quickly so you don't have to hurry. The water from your brush will just activate the color. And you wanna get enough color in here. So really kind of blend this green because we want those white areas to really pop out. 
And when we remove that masking fluid, all the area underneath will be, um, will be white. So just kind of work your way around. It's okay to get some of that green on the mailbox and mix those colors together. I think that adds a lot. So that's okay to do that. Just blend, blend, blend. Remember, you're not actually brushing, so you're not painting. You're just kind of jumping your brush around. Just kind of bounce it. Bring this color in here like this. Be careful you don't actually touch that little bunny. I don't really want to blend him too much. It's pretty detailed. Okay, so now let's add a little shadow underneath here. And I'm doing that with the African Violet. So I've taken a little African Violet now and added it to my palette, just like this. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that color and just put a little color right underneath the mailbox and on this side right here. This would all be in the shadow. And actually inside the mailbox too. Just pull some of this color right inside here. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can put actually put a little bit under his little feet too. Okay, ready to move on. Okay, so let's uh, let's take off this masking fluid now. So you just take that off with your finger, just kind of rub it off, and you can see all those white areas underneath were all protected. So now I'm going to add a little of this bright pink. So this is this is number 55. So actually iris purple, but it's really a bright fuchsia pink. And we're going to take some of this color now, and we're just going to add it to these white areas. So just little circles, just like this. And actually you can do a lot of different things with this. You could add little white centers and leave the flowers mostly white. You could add pink centers or do it like this where you're just brushing in the pink flower. So cute. It adds a lot of dimension to your image. You can do these things a lot of different ways. This is just another option. You can use your flowers and stamp those over the top. But this is a really fun thing to do. And I love this masking fluid. It's really easy to use and uh, dries really quickly. Okay, so I'm just working my way around here, kind of making a little round circle, so a little half circle actually, just in all the white areas. And we can put some over here. Whoops, did I get this off? There we go. So let's put a little pink in here. And you can go back over it, that'll, that'll make it darker. So once that dries, you can make a little, another little pass over it. And add a little more color. So cute. Okay, so we're finished with that. Let's take that fine point now and go in and make some really dark centers. You can make a few little dots in here as well. And just darken those, those little centers. The nice thing about Marvies is the fine tip. I love that about them. And the fine tip is always wet. As long as the marker is wet, the fine tip is. And I use my fine tips all the time. Okay, that looks pretty good. We have one step left and that is to personalize. So you can uh, make this to someone special. Put their name on here and put it in a frame. So cute. Sign it and date it. We are now in 2017. And don't be afraid to put the details back in. 
you feel like you want to add a little more detail, feel free to do that. I do this a lot. Darken that little eye on the bunny. And that looks pretty good. We are about finished. So put it in a little frame like this one and give it away to someone special and they will absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you.